Get ready for a fiesta of draw-dropping revelations as we uncover 15 hilariously shocking secrets about Mexico that will have you laughing, gasping, and questioning your geography knowledge. Mexico, located in the southern part of North America, is a gem waiting to be explored. With the U.S. to the north and surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, Guatemala, Belize, and the Caribbean Sea, it's a vast land of 1,972,550 square kilometers, ranking as the 13th largest country globally. Boasting nearly 130 million people, it's the 10th most populous country and the ultimate haven for Spanish speakers. Besides its famous sizzling street food and vibrant fiestas, Mexico holds some surprising secrets, and we're here to discover them. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Mexico's real name isn't what you think it is. Ever heard of Mexico's undercover name? Surprise! It's officially the United States of Mexico, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Forget the usual one-size-fits-all image. Mexico is a patchwork quilt of 31 states plus the federal district. Each state runs its own show with unique laws, regulations, and its own police force, much like the United States of America. And here's a quirky twist. When you cross state lines, your phone's forever in Rome mode, just like the good old US of A. Number 2. Did you know US citizens are making a surprising move to Mexico? Flip the immigration script and you'll find a nugget of irony. While it's common knowledge that lots of Mexicans call the United States home, did you know that US citizens are the stealthy immigrants in Mexico? Yep, according to the 2010 census, a whopping 750,000 Americans have planted their roots south of the border. Who would have thought? More Americans heading to Mexico than the other way around. Talk about turning the tables. Number 3. Mexico City had a name change in 2016. Hold on to your hats, the capital city of Mexico played a little name game. While most folks assumed it was always Mexico City, surprise, it used to go by the name Distrito Federal DF aka the Federal District. But in 2016, the city decided to switch things up and officially became CDMX, Ciudad de Mexico. Now here's the twist. The Mexico City metropolitan area snuggles within DF and parts of the state of Mexico. Still, only the cool cats from DF get to claim they live in the heart of the capital. Life's full of surprises, especially in the land of tacos and tequila. Number 4. Burritos in Mexico are an exclusive delight of the North. Let's talk about Mexican food. It's a global hit. Even UNESCO says so. But hold your beans. What you call Mexican might just be Tex-Mex. Take burritos, for instance. In Mexico, it's a whole different ballgame. Forget rice-stuffed chipotle versions. Authentic Mexican burritos don't roll that way. Up north, sure, they love their burritos. But those US fast food chain versions? Not so much. And here's the spice surprise. Real Mexican grub isn't all fire and heat. It's got a tangy twist thanks to loads of limes, or as they in Spanish say, limones. Number 5. Mexico City is sinking, and it's not a metaphor. Mexico City, the bustling capital, has a secret. It's sinking. Built on a drained lake and sinking about 12 centimeters per year, it's no stroll in the park for residents. A historical city with the highest elevation, it's also perched on the ruins of the Aztec city of Tenochtitlan. Unlike the Aztecs, the Spanish went for a drained lake bed, and now pumps are working overtime to keep up with the growing population. It's a sinking reality, literally. Number 6. Transit manners include special sections just for women. Breaking stereotypes, Mexico paves the way for women's safety. In Mexico City, buses and subways boast women-only spaces, challenging the notion of constant abuse. Compare that to Turkey, where women face public transport abuse without protective measures. Mexican men, dubbed caballerosos, go the extra mile, opening doors, picking up dates, and covering the tab. Surprisingly, research reveals that some women prefer mixed-gender subway sections as men graciously offer seats, shattering the stereotype. Number 7. A bathroom tip for Mexico. Bin the toilet paper. Don't flush it. 
Here's a quirky restroom tip for your Mexican adventure. Hold off on tossing that toilet paper into the bowl. It's not just a Mexico thing, it's a Central American vibe. Though technically, Mexico is North America. Oddly enough, many Latin Americans abroad find it a tad challenging to break the habit of binning their toilet paper. In the hostels I've crashed at across Mexico, none gave the green light to flush it down. A heads up especially in the Riviera Maya, where being toilet paper wise is as vital as the ocean breeze. Number 8. There's a Mexican dish inspired by the flag. Dive into Mexico's food tale, and you'll stumble upon a delicious nugget, chiles and nogada. Picture this, a stuffed green pepper cloaked in creamy walnut sauce and sprinkled with pomegranate seeds. Now, here's the twist. It's not just any dish. It's inspired by the Mexican flag proudly devoured on Independence Day. It turns out nuns whipped up this culinary masterpiece post-Mexican independence. Talk about a flavorful celebration. Number 9. Mexico boasts the oldest university in North and Central America. Let's turn the pages of Mexico's history books to its academic gem, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, UNAM. Back in 1551, it started as the Royal and Pontifical University of Mexico, predating Harvard by a whopping eight decades. This makes UNAM the oldest university in North and Central America, a testament to Mexico's rich intellectual roots, proving there's more to the land of tacos and tequila than meets the eye. Number 10. Meet Mexico's national pride. In the vast skies of North America, the golden eagle spreads its wings. But when you cross into Mexico, it takes on a special role. Behold the golden eagle. Not just a bird, but Mexico's national animal. Proudly gracing the country's coat of arms. Interestingly, you won't catch this regal creature everywhere. Its domain usually extends only as far south as Guadalajara, leaving the rest of the country with a touch of eagerness. Number 11. Cinco de Mayo isn't Mexico's Independence Day. Let's clear up the party confetti. Cinco de Mayo isn't Mexico's Independence Day. Thanks to the American media's portrayal, many folks outside Mexico link it to the grand celebration of Mexican culture. However, truth be told, Mexican independence rings in on September 16th. May 5th? That's the Battle of Puebla's anniversary, where the locals valiantly repelled a supposedly superior French army. The real independence shindig? Save that for September. Except in Puebla, where May 5th still kicks up some celebratory dust. Number 12. Once the world's richest man was a Mexican. Meet Carlos Slim, a heavyweight in the world's richest people's club. Currently holding the 8th spot globally, Slim's journey started as a stockbroker before he dove into every lucrative venture possible communications, infrastructure, and even the sweet success of Jarritos soft drinks. Once Mexico's richest man, he's not just about wealth. Slim's a notable philanthropist, leaving a lasting mark with the Museo Sumaya in Mexico City. From stock markets to cultural treasures, Slim's story is a slice of Mexico's varied pie. Number 13. Mexico introduced chocolate to the West. When you think about the delectable world of Mexican cuisine, prepare to be amazed by one of its most enchanting offerings, chocolate. While we all relish the savory dishes that Mexico is renowned for, it's fascinating to discover that this country played a pivotal role in introducing chocolate to the Western world. The irresistible treat has now become a global sensation, and its roots trace back to the Oaxaca region where creamy hot chocolate flows abundantly. Not merely a standalone indulgence, chocolate takes center stage in many iconic mole recipes, often hailed as the culinary emblem of Mexico. These moles, with their rich and complex flavors, have earned their place as the country's national dish. It's a testament to Mexico's culinary prowess, where every bite tells a story of tradition, culture, and a deep love for food. Number 14. Mexico is home to the world's largest pyramid. While Egypt may hold the spotlight when it comes to pyramids, Mexico proudly boasts the world's largest pyramid, at least in terms of volume. Behold the magnificence of the Great Pyramid at Cholula, standing proudly just outside the city of Puebla. Surpassing even the famed pyramids of Giza, this colossal structure is a testament to the ancient civilizations that once thrived in the heart of the Americas. Though not as ancient as its Egyptian counterparts, the Great Pyramid at Cholula stands as a silent witness to the rich history and architectural brilliance of Mexico. 
Number 15. Mexico's Taco Tail Echoes a Kebab Connection Step into a Mexico City taco joint and you might feel a hint of deja vu. It's almost like a 3am kebab shop. For a good reason, Tacos Al Pastor, which features the same rotating piece of meat that late night partygoers adore, is one of Mexico's most popular dishes. The fascinating twist is that the technique came courtesy of Middle Eastern immigrants fleeing the Ottoman Empire's aftermath. Here's a double fun fact. This migration wave not only spiced up Mexican cuisine, but also led to Shakira's family finding a new home in Colombia. So you can definitely say that Mexico is where global flavors collide in a taco-filled fiesta. Have you enjoyed this video? Give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more.